Hey guys, it's Julie from PaleoMG, and I have a special Thanksgiving recipe. But that doesn't mean you only can make it on Thanksgiving. It is such an amazing side dish. Since last Thanksgiving, and I don't know what year it was, I've made this probably 10 times. It's so easy. So this is my brown butter and herb skillet potato. So first, you will need three pounds of Yukon Gold potatoes. So I've already sliced up most of my potatoes. I'll show you how I slice these up. So I first start off with my hand before it gets too close. Be careful of your fingers here. And then once I get a little bit closer, I can shut this and I can stick my potato in there. And it goes all the way through. And look at these little tiny slices of potato. You can almost see through them. Not exactly, but you almost can see through them. And I'm just gonna set these up. I like to do this nice little circle. Once you get your potatoes all sliced up, now we gotta make the brown butter to go on top. So what you'll need is a stick of butter, fresh rosemary, then I have a tablespoon of fresh thyme. Chop that up a little bit as well. And then the same thing, tablespoon of fresh sage. Chop that up. Once my butter melts, I'm gonna add all those herbs and they're gonna get crispy and really release all those flavors. Let's brown some butter. So I'm gonna turn my stove top on to medium high heat here and I have a stick of butter. So I'm gonna add this to my pan and this is just gonna cook down. And all you really have to do to get brown butter is just continue to cook the butter. So my butter has browned and this is the perfect time to add my herbs. So I'll add my fresh rosemary, that sage, and then thyme. So I'll just cook this for about one more minute and then I'm gonna put it on top of my potatoes. And this butter is absolutely perfect. It's brown, you can smell all the herbs. So now we're gonna put these on top of the potatoes. So this is where a basting brush really comes in handy. You really want to get in all the nooks and crannies of the potatoes and this will help that because you can scoop the herbs and the butter and really slide it into all the potatoes there. Now let's top it all. Now to finish off, you want to make sure you get some salt on there. So now these potatoes are ready to go in the oven. All you have to do is preheat your oven to 375 degrees. Oh my gosh. Look at those potatoes. So we wanna top this off with some fresh salt and pepper. So I have that same flake salt and then black pepper. So this is the perfect dish for Thanksgiving, any holiday by yourself on the couch, you know, any Friday night, let's be real here. So don't forget to try this recipe, top it with salt and pepper and just those fresh herbs on top. And then you can just go to paleomg.com and you can get this recipe plus a ton of other easy side dishes.